This video is an extension to our trip to the northwest of Turkey. The link to the first one will be in the pop-ups and in the description. Check it out if you haven't. It is known that Turkey is a country that mostly is located in Asia and only a small part of it lies in Europe. The imaginary borderline between European and Asian continents comes through the Bosphorus, Sea of Marmara and the Dardanelles Strait. So Asia ends in Turkey, but the question is, where exactly? So what are we looking for? We are Why are we standing in this? We are looking for a way out. <laughs> way out, it's a, it's a good one. Okay, we are currently uh, at the Babakale castle. Uh, they took some small, small fee from us and we headed towards the sea. Okay, let's see this point. Don't tell me I have to climb. Ah, there it is. And I'm presenting to you the westmost point of the Asian continent. Westernmost point of the continental Asia. <laughs> whatever you say, whatever. As far as the continent goes, you cannot go anymore yeah. for, to the west. That's the actual point. I think we're gonna uh, find our way all the way around to this castle and uh, walk to the piers to see the Liman. By the way, uh, this is Greece. Just yeah, right yeah. opposite of us, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's really hard to tell, uh, but it, it is actually an island. Yeah. And it is already Greece. Lesbos. Lesbos. Yes, it's a part of the North Aegean Ar Archipelago. Yeah, it's interesting that locals call this town Babakale, which means Papa City, like Father City. <laughs> yeah, I guess Father City lived a simple life. You know, tourists here, it's not, not because it's not the high season, just generally. No tourists, nothing. Actually, there's only two tourists here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally, mm -hmm. the castle is empty. A lady in the back, lady in the back is a, a person who sells tickets. Babakale is a tiny village in the northern Asian region of Turkey with a population of about 500 people. It existed since antiquity, but the present village grew up to serve its castle built in 1720s to defend the harbor and Ottoman navy base against pirates and other foes. It's on Cape Baba, the westernmost point of mainland Asia, on about the same longitude as Helsinki and Bucharest. We reached the westernmost point of the continental Asia lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the view is just fantastic, really. Just yeah, well, let me show you around, guys. Yeah. It's just lovely, a little bit. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, just seeing the island. Yeah, Greece, right there. Yeah. That's Greece. So close. The further part of the trip was completely random and unplanned. On our way back to Antalya, one of the road signs mentioned a place with a lovely name Aphrodisias. So we decided to quickly stop by and were fully overwhelmed by what we saw there. And eventually spent good three hours just wandering around and enjoying the ancient city site. The whole wall, uh, it wasn't like that uh, originally. This was the place where they had had palm trees all over and this place was next to Agora, the central square of their city and it was surrounded by multiple columns. On top of columns there was a piece of uh, de decoration, I'd say, so where it had those hats like all over the whole, the whole square was decorated, yeah. Those things. They stacked them. 
uh, all on top of each other. Same size, right? So. Yeah. Hmm. So we accidentally stopped at another historical ancient ruin site and this place is called the ancient city of Ephrodisias, which is named after the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite. And uh, as you can see, it was preserved pretty well <laughs> because I think just Ephesus has such monuments left. The rest are mainly just stones and rocks around the territory. And now I present to you a stadium, at least what's left of it. Very massive structure. Back in the day they were used for an athletic events of any kind. They sealed this one off. So right here right now. Uh, so this stadium uh, was originally 270 meters long and it had 30 tires of seats and could fit 30,000 people here. Can you imagine? It, what you, it was used for sports like boxing, wrestling, foot racing, and later, when general athletics was declined, they built an arena here to use it for wild beast hunting and also gladiators combats. Okay. The best we can do for the stadium, I guess, to perform some athletic exercise. I'm gonna run for it. <laughs> Come on, it's a stadium. That's what you do in stadiums, right? And the curious thing is that you can walk among all those columns and rocks. Because in many places they have fence around and they just won't let you. What are your impressions? I mean, it's kind of cool this actually stayed for this many years. You still can see all these little details which has left. I mean, the best artifacts I think they put in the museum all across the country. This is the central square called Agora, a place of social gatherings, and that's from this place they uh, collected all those hats that were in the, at the entrance. So what is this place? Well, this is the part of the city that's next to the empty theater so i guess it was like a main entrance to the square that was in front of the empty theater to make it more magnificent to make it more festive here Right, this theater is so well preserved, they even have a uh, first row of chairs 
made of stone, of course, but feels very premium. And like back at the time, you would come here, pick a place in the first row, of course, and have a seat. Oh, it is nice. And now you can enjoy the play. And actors would do whatever here. Woo! No echo. That place sucks. No singing for me. It is one of the most coolest ones I ever saw. Very well preserved. So this is now your number one ancient ruins site of the mall. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I like what I like about this place. Uh, the whole little town is actually preserved. They have a theater, they have a stadium, they have a bus, uh, they have a cool city park. This is the very place I would recommend everyone to go to. Yeah, because all uh, those Greek slash Roman cities uh, are pretty similar. Like they have, they have a central part, they have bus, they have amphitheaters, uh, they have Agora, the central square and place where people could gather and uh, like not a, really all of them are looking like this city, seriously. Yeah. Usually it's just a pile of rocks or rocks scattered everywhere. And the cool part of it, nobody ever hears of this place. And the wild thing to me, we actually encountered this place uh, like you know, just, just accidentally. Yeah, we were just passing by. On yeah, we just way pass, to passing by, and it ended up as uh, the best place, the best Greek ruins place ever.